Today I wanted to share with you guys a watercolor painting that I just recently finished. I've been making more time for painting and decided to learn a little bit more about a medium that I really don't know much about. So I have been taking some online courses for watercolor and I have been absolutely loving it. I've also been discovering a lot of watercolor artists, both on Instagram and on YouTube. And this one is actually inspired by an artist. Her name is Kinney. I think I'm saying that right. I'll put a link in the description to her YouTube channel and to her Instagram account. You guys would absolutely love it. Her work is amazing. And I just love the way that she uses light and stars and the atmosphere of her paintings just feels so magical. So I decided to do my own take on that and I created this little piece right here. I posted it on Instagram about a week ago and asked you guys for suggestions on what I should call it. Coming up with the name has always been the hardest part for me and I feel like asking for your suggestions and Having that interaction is just really fun for me and there were so many really good suggestions for names but the one that really spoke to me was suggested by J.K. Mallory and it was Starry Skies Glinting Eyes but I decided to change it a little bit and instead of glinting I'm calling it Starry Skies Gleaming Eyes because I just feel like the word gleaming has a little more magic than glinting. But this piece actually comes from me meditating more and learning more about myself and really just trying to have an open heart and an open mind. I was going to call this open heart, open mind, but I felt like it was a little too literal and I just liked the way the starry skies gleaming eyes sounded. So that's really where this painting comes from. It's more about just learning more about others and myself and being happy with myself and slowing things down a bit and really just trying to focus on the now. I'm not a huge pro at meditating but when I do it I feel like my heart really does open up and light is really emitted from it. I wanted to create a piece that showed that and I feel like when you open your mind and you open your heart, magic happens, which is why these stars are surrounding her and kind of floating around her. I really love the idea of just living in this beautiful, colorful, glowing world. And I really do believe that magic is all around us. And this is just an iteration of what I feel like it can look like. So this is a combination of watercolor and gouache. I had some gouache from when I was in college. I have my whole paint set uh, and all the paint was really dry, but the cool thing with gouache is that you can reactivate it by just adding water. So I had so many colors to choose from and the gouache really gives it that opacity, the brightness that I am looking for on the painting. So I think I really like combining the watercolor and the softness of the watercolor along with the gouache and brightening up some areas and really getting that punch of color. I also used masking fluid for this piece. Um, so I put it on the stars and the heart and the hearts on my cheeks so that it can preserve the paper underneath from any watercolor getting on it and then you just 
peel it off afterwards and you have a nice white paper underneath uh, so you keep that brightness and you don't have to worry about staying in the lines so that's the technique that I used here and I haven't used it in a really long time I want to say it's been about six years since I've used masking fluid it's pretty easy pretty easy to use But I really hope you guys enjoyed this painting, this speed art. Please leave a like on the video and share if you did. Uh, I definitely am going to be doing more of these. Also be sure to check out the artist that I suggested in the description. She is amazing and her work is just so beautiful. Um, and if you guys have any suggestions for artists that you would like to share, that you think that I'll enjoy or that we can all just share together feel free to leave a comment in the comment section below and we can all just discover some amazing artists together and really just develop an amazing creative community. So that's it for now. I think I'm going to be making some prints both of this piece and the cloud watercolor piece that I did. Unfortunately, I did not record the cloud watercolor piece because it was my first attempt at fully diving into watercolors and I honestly didn't expect it to come out that great. So <laughs> I didn't record it and I'm really sad that I didn't but I'll definitely be recording all of my paintings in the future and there will be prints available uh, probably within the next week or so on my website. I'll also put a link in the description for that as well. But thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was so much fun and it's so relaxing for me to do. It's just something I really need to make more time for because I have so much fun doing it. But yeah, thank you guys again. Uh, my name is Tippy, and I will see you guys later.